Hello, Kyle here. Have you ever noticed how fluorescent colors seem impossibly bright? Like they almost look brighter than the ambient light around them should allow something to be. And the reason for that is because in a way it kind of is. Here I've queued up a plain piece of printer paper. On the right hand side I've got genuine cadmium red light which if you are a fine artist or a painter, you know that genuine cadmiums have a fiery intensity that just can't be matched. It seems to jump off the page. But I painted my cadmium red right beside a uh, fluorescent red. And compared to the fluorescent red, the cadmium looks pretty dull, dark, and lifeless. So what's going on here? One of the interesting things about fluorescent pigment, fluorescent pigments actually absorb ultraviolet light, which is part of the visible light spectrum that is outside of what the human eye can see. The pigment then converts that ultraviolet light down to a lower energy visible light that bounces back. So these pigments actually are bouncing off more visible light than they receive. And to prove this, very simple demonstration using my photo editor dark table and I am going to go up to my corrections group and use the equalizer. I'm going to use this in an unintuitive way. Uh, everyone knows probably you can use this for easy sharpening but what I think a lot of people miss is you can also use the equalizer for blurring things if you pull up from the bottom. This is just going to get rid of some of the sensor noise and just even things out. It All right so now I've blurred things just to make this a little easier. Now I'm going to go to the tone group and use the tone curve tool and select the dropper. Now what's great about the dropper is it produces this vertical line that shows you where on the lightness darkness scale the selected area lands. So this would be pitch black, that would be pure white. On this image the white paper is pretty damn close to 18 percent gray all over. It's kind of right there in the middle. Now I'm going to click on this cadmium red and okay as you can see it seems to be ranging from around here to about here. I'm just clicking on this not to try to adjust it too much but to just try try to define more. Oh there's a darker patch but all right now the fluorescent. So there's a few areas where it goes a bit darker but overall, it's pretty close to the same level of luminosity as the paper itself. Let's just desaturate this image. So when you desaturate the image, you can also see that this red is significantly lighter. It's, it's a little bit darker than the surrounding paper, but really not by much. So when you see a surface that is painted with a fluorescent pigment or an article of clothing with fluorescent colors, or even you're using a highlighter and you think, that looks impossibly bright. How can it possibly be this bright? It's because it is doing weird stuff with physics. It's not magic, but it's pretty damn close. I love my fluorescent pigments. If only they were light fast.